Hey guys, as I told you, I'm not here today because I have a procedure on the, I'm having today. So just keep me in your thoughts and prayers as I go in for this procedure. So let's get started for the day. I am beautiful. I am strong. I am capable. I am in charge of my destiny. Today is a new day with a new opportunity to make your world a better place to be. People often say that motivation doesn't last. Well, neither does bathing. That's why we recommend it daily. That is from Zig Ziglar. So you're not going to stay motivated forever. You've got to keep on motivating yourself. Okay. So um, are we in the world? Clue three. At first, Bridger and his men thought they had found the Pacific Ocean. Instead, they had found what some people call the Inland Sea. This sea is only about 34 feet deep at its deepest point, and it stretches about 75 miles long and 35 miles wide. If you think you know today's or this week's where in the world, you can click here to go answer that. Now remember yesterday I told you for our activator today we were going to be doing our voting. So when you click on this link here, it's going to take you to the voting link. That link will close this afternoon. So when you are on uh, the voting link, you will see that it has just choice for you. So if it says boy, the names are there. Okay. So you can only click one name from each. All right. So good luck to uh, all of you who are in that election. So vote. And then we are moving on to our task for today. So what are we doing today? Today, we are moving on from our freshwater uh, resources and our water scarcity, water abundance, economic scarcity, stations into a reading about water scarcity. So that's your first task is that you're either going to read it or listen to it. If you choose to listen to it, you must have earbuds. So you will find at the very bottom here, there is a document. Go ahead and download that document because it is a reading guide. Okay. So you can see here, water scarcity, a global issue reading guide. So what is water scarcity? How many people worldwide do not have access to clean water every day? And then what are some causes and effects? You are looking for three causes and for every cause there is an effect. Okay, so open that document up and then decide, are you going to read it or listen to it? So if you're reading it, you're gonna click here. And when you click here, you will see that this article comes up. It's 2017 and it is going to talk about water being scarce in certain places around the world. Okay, it gives you some vocab and whatnot. So you wanna read this whole article so that you can find your causes and effects. Now, before you actually get to the next part, you'll need to make sure that you've checked it with me. I'm gonna check your causes and effects, to make sure you have actually picked out some causes and effects. What is causing water to be scarce? scarce meaning there is not much of it okay so i need three causes and effects this is causing it this is the effect it is having now um that assignment is also right here if you click this link it simply takes you to the same thing that you're seeing in the sub page today but this will be what's in your upcoming today so you see the same reading the same assignment you also see the document guide okay so um if I go back to our subfolder here, you can see that once you've collected all that information, which honestly, I feel like if you are doing a good job of finding good causes and effects for water scarcity, as noted in the article, you are going to need the entire period to actually read that and do a good job. But for those of you who are finished, I'm going to go ahead and tell you about the assignment that is due Friday. And we will also be doing some presenting of this. Okay, we're going to do random selection for presenting. And what that means is I will put names in a generator and we'll split into two groups and you will present, two different people will be presenting to the group that they are selected to. Okay, so not everybody will present, but a few of us will present. So that's kind of getting us to the place where we're still presenting and not the whole, whole class, but we're now presenting by ourselves, sole accountability, and we're not presenting to an entire group, okay? All right, so once we're finished, I'm leaving it up to you. In the amenities section, you can see Canva, post my wall, picture charts, Satori, form, sway, 
or anything you'd like to introduce us to. So something that we don't know about. If you've used a platform that we have not used in class yet and you want to teach us about that through this visual, please do so. So you're gonna create a one page informational that teaches us about water scarcity, okay? So if you look here, you can see that you have a link to this assignment. And make sure you use a combination of visual and text to give us the information that we should know about water scarcity. And when we look at our task, we will see that we are only looking for those things that are found in our um, uh, assignment. What is water scarcity? How many people is it affecting? What are causes and effects, okay? You are presenting this information to us in a one page informational, no bigger than that. All right, so my expectation for today is you are finished reading the article and collecting your information. Tomorrow, I will look at your graphic organizers to make sure that you have found actual causes and effects. You will be working on your one page informational ready to present about midway through on Friday. All right, you guys have a blessed day. I will see you on Thursday.